Hey everybody, this is Mark from the Geek Church, and today we got the Vision Tech VT2900. And it's a pretty decent product, and we're going to unbox it and take a look at what it can do right after this. Okay, so we're just going to just take this out right now, and honestly, um, you might be surprised by what you see. This is it right here, the box, so to speak. This thing right here. Now, I want to draw to your attention a lot of the ports it has. So what you can do is, this is a dual system dock. You can switch connected devices between two systems at the touch of a button. What button, you might ask? This button right here. At least that's what I believe it is. In the meantime, there's just a bunch of stuff you can look in here. And you've got, obviously, a device to connect the power. Uh, you've got two USBs. Uh, we've got something that just is marked Switch, which I don't think is for a Nintendo Switch. Then there's a display port, HDMI port, Ethernet cable, two USBs, and this. I'll just have you look at it right here so you can check it out and hopefully you can get a nice good angle at that. Can we get a really good ooh, look at that? That looks look nice and shiny and new. Now in the front we have uh, two USB-C ports as well as a USB-A. Okay, so here's what I believe is supposed to happen. When I say I believe, I mean I haven't looked at the instructions yet. I don't know if this is capable of this, but I just simply believe it is. Because that just makes sense. Why wouldn't you make a product that would do that? Um, basically, I believe you're supposed to connect your PCs to these things here, and then you can kind of switch off. This is a KVM system that stands for Keyboard, Video, and Mouse. And I want to see if I can do that. I have a keyboard I can use as well as a mouse I can use. If I plug them in there, can I just switch them off at the touch of a button? Well, I'm going to have to do a setup and see for myself. Let's just go to that setup now. Hey, I realized I was being a little bit premature in my unboxing. I did unbox this right here, but I really should have looked at these, the cords that it comes with. Uh, this looks like it's a power cord which connects to this, uh, one of those boxes kind of things. Uh, that gives its power and 100 watts worth of power, so that's a lot. Very good. And this looks like some sort of uh, button to connect. Um, in fact, there's a thing here marked uh, switch, and I wonder if ah, it is compatible with that. So I'm guessing that uh, not only is it connectable with this button, but also uh, this button as well. So that'll be interesting. We're gonna have to try that out. And there's two USB-C to USB-C cords. So, we just connect them there, right? Right? Okay, this is my desk. This is where I write about the reviews that I do on my site. It's a mess. I'd apologize, but isn't that what I'm going for? I mean, in order for me to do reviews, I need a lot of stuff. And to get a lot of stuff, I have to mess up my desk for it. I'm sorry, I don't apologize for this. I'm going to go back here. Okay, something that I want you to know, I've set up this particular device here, and as you can see, here's what happens. I have a USB-C cord running from here to uh, here, and that's the first port. And then I have this cord running to this particular laptop right here. Say, for example, you have a place you want to use a keyboard and mouse, so there it is. And you might want to add another monitor here. I'm going to get to this monitor and why it's not lit here in a second. Uh, for now, I want you to draw to your attention uh, this thing. Um, let's see. I've got the mouse here. Okay. All right. I shake that mouse and the cursor moves. So it's hooked up to this thing now. And let's see. If I type something in here. Okay. It's typing on here. So this keyboard and this mouse are hooked up to this laptop and not this laptop. However, with a touch of a button, and this can be done a few ways. Um, looks like that kind of, oh, wait. Uh, uh, looks like that kind of timed out. I wonder what would happen if I just connect it now. Would that do anything? Let's see. It did. Okay, now. Here's uh, something here. Yeah, see, my mouse is uh, connected there. You can see the cursor move as I move the mouse. And let's see if the keyboard is working. Let's see. It is. This is a magic trick, and it was done with this particular device. 
there is something I want to draw to your attention. You'll notice this uh, monitor here is connected uh, to this thing with an HDMI cord. Uh, this is a very old display. So as you can see, I've tried setting this up and you can see how bad the resolution is. I don't have one that I can really easily connect here to this to show you how it works. And I just want to warn you that if your display is older, you might get mixed results on that. I've tried connecting uh, older displays to this thing, which is a relatively new laptop, so you might uh, not get that. I bring that up because when I hit the switch to switch the two, and uh, let's see, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, this thing has a switch, you can go to it. So when I hit this, you'll notice that it goes away. For some reason, I can't seem to get this thing on here. Now, I don't know if that has something to do with the laptop or at all, or just the device in general, because were I to just simply, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, this is gonna look a little awkward here. I'll try and talk as I do this, just so it's not too awkward. But I have a place that I use normally hook in my uh, HDMI cable right about here on the side. And as you can see, it does show up after a little bit of a delay. Uh, that's my wallpaper. Um, so that's pretty much the only thing that I uh, saw that, um, you know, I, I'm sure that isn't something that's just inherent with this product. It's inherent within my display. And I want to make sure I state that because I like this product. Okay, so uh, honestly, this is a very decent product. You get the Vision Tech VT2900 on the Vision Tech uh, site right now for a price of $299.99. And if you've got a situation at home where you need something like this, I highly recommend this. This has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and I'm signing off.